Welcome back to my channel so today I want to share with you some items that I use in my sewing room that I obtained through thrifting I'm a big advocate for thrifting particularly for notions and patterns and fabrics and furniture I don't mind buying furniture secondhand once it's of good quality um, I typically use Kijiji which is a website um, that's popular here in Canada for um, buying secondhand stuff but recently I was watching another YouTube vlogger I think her name is Carmen Salome and she mentioned that she actually got um, sewing patterns from a, mark, a Facebook marketplace seller so I decided to check them out and I got a couple of deals that I want to tell you about um, so I typically use Kijiji um, and I've got several of the things that I use in my sewing room from there um, this bookcase that's behind me that I use to store fabrics and my patterns and my interfacing and that sort of thing um, I got it through Kijiji I've had it for close to three years now um, this sewing machine is my well it's not my latest um, but I got it in the summer of last year second hand and it's an excellent machine it's a Kenmore machine and I think it was made in the 1950s and it runs excellently and I got it at a fabulous price um, beneath my cutting table I have a two drawer um, filing cabinet that I use to store my some of my fabrics and um, I've had it for close to three years it's super duper heavy but um, it doesn't take up a lot of space given that I'm able to store it under the table and um, it holds quite a bit of fabric. I also have a um, thread rack on my wall here that I'm going to show you that I also got on Kijiji. So I, I found quite a number of deals on there and I'm always on the lookout for um, other things you know that um, I could possibly use that are on there at a good price so um i'll show you what i have um so far so one of the first things that i ever bought on kijiji is this two drawer filing cabinet that i use to store fabrics um it is super duper 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 heavy and um it was such a challenge picking it up from the seller and getting it back here um but it is so worth it um it doesn't really get in the way or anything because i store it under my cutting table um so it's just there pressed up against the wall and um whenever i need to get any fabrics i basically just um, bend down a little and open it because it's able to open um, unhindered by the top of the table and yeah so this is it so i store my fabric um wrapped in wrapped onto cardboard um and then i basically just lay them like this in the drawer so it's a way for me to see what i have um pretty easily and for everything to really stay nice and neat and um it's the same thing for the second drawer so it's basically fabric just wrapped around cardboard and the cardboard is from um, Amazon shipment. So when I get a shipment from Amazon, I normally just uh, cut um, rectangular shapes from the cardboard boxes and then I use those to wrap my fabric around and then um, put them in the drawer. Yeah, so I think this is a really good investment um, and it came at a pretty good price as well. So that's my two drawer filing cabinet that I use for storage. Now, last summer I got this thread holder on Kijiji along with the threads. So the seller was selling, I think it was like 46 cones of thread um, at a pretty good price. And um, she threw in the thread holder um, at the same time. So I have all of these threads that I got on Kijiji for a very good price. I'm not sure what it was at the time, but it was pretty good believe me and yeah so I have um, a lot of thread here 
to add to the thread that I had already had um, for myself that I had accumulated over time. So yeah, this is another good deal that I got from Kijiji. Now, this to me is the cream of the crop of the things that I've gotten um, secondhand. It's a Kenmore machine that I also bought on Kijiji and it came with this table here. Um, and right now I'm using it to store my original machine. So I have a brother, uh, pretty good, uh, okay, pretty okay brother sewing machine there and a Singapore finished serger. Um, yeah, so I use the same table that came with this machine here to house the other machines. But yeah, this machine is pretty old, but I think it sews excellently. Um, the seller was, uh, I think it owned, it, the, the machine was owned by his mom and maybe she had passed or something and he was selling it. And um, it was pretty cheap i got it for like 35 dollars i'm telling you it sews excellently i haven't had any issues with it since um buying it i think i've had it for a little less than a year now um he gave me quite a bit of stuff with it um so i got <clears throat> i got this which is a button holder yeah so it's the um, extension to make button holes and i've tried it before and it works great in fact i think it makes better button holes than this one here um, so yeah that came along with it as well as um this thing here which had some extra bobbins and, and needles and that sort of thing so yeah this was an excellent find i'm so happy that i um, was able to snag it on kijiji recently on facebook marketplace i saw a seller who was selling um these items for ten dollars it's basically a whole bunch of um threads so it's like this tote that's full of threads plus threads here again and um some extra bobbins so all of those plus um there are quite a number of uh snaps and tools and d-rings so many d-rings i'm not sure what i ever do with all of them so it's like a whole tote full of d-rings and snaps and um other odds and ends and along with those um came these needles so I have like a whole zipper bag full of needles, hand sewing needles as well as machine needles. Like I'm not sure that I ever have to buy needles again given the quantity that I have here. There was also um, an attachment to another Kenmore machine so it's another buttonhole foot um, I haven't checked to see if this one will work with my machine but basically um, it's a button foot um, extension for a Kenmore machine so this came with everything
also got this um, thing here from the same seller. So there are a couple rulers here, curved rulers. There's a um, measuring tape. It's a whole bunch of stuff, really. And and uh, like I mentioned, all of these came from the same seller, and they were for ten dollars. So covered buttons. Um, what's this? Seam soft um, bias tape. There were knitting needles. I don't know how to knit, but um, it's something that I'm interested to learn. There were some magnets. Um, I even got, I think there are, no, I think it's just one. So it came with um, this rotary cutter. And there were also quite a number of buttons buttons and um, oil for the sewing machine quite a number of um, what are these bobby pins um, so safety pins I'm sorry safety pins um, there was also a set of scissors they need a bit of cleaning up but they're pretty sharp still and i think this is like a pin cushion that the previous owner had made and here's another um button foot extension for a machine i'm not sure for what machine though and um there's also a uh, an extra foot for some machine i think this is like an invisible zipper foot if i can get it to focus uh, no it's not focusing um, yeah and i think this might be a sharpener for a scissor sharpener yeah so anyway quite a number of things um overall and i'm pretty happy with um you know the result of this transaction um, I also got these needles from another seller on Facebook marketplace not needles um, sorry these are buttons yeah so I actually got these buttons from another seller on Facebook marketplace and I'm pretty happy um, can't have too many buttons and I mentioned before running out of buttons for projects in the past so um i'm pretty happy with these buttons i'm gonna wash them off um, i haven't really taken them out of the bag that they came in but i'm gonna wash them off and um, add them to the buttons that i have already so here's one bag and here's another bag so i am so pleased with the result and i'll be checking facebook marketplace and kijiji um some more going forward to see if I can snag more deals like these. I don't buy that many um, paper patterns. I typically buy the PDF ones and print them off. Um, but I got these in the thrift store for 99 cents each and I'm pretty happy with them. They are mostly vintage. Yeah, all vintage patterns that I got um here this one is a children's pattern for night clothes and um i thought this one was super duper pretty and um this one i love the pussy blow pussy bow blows um pictures i'm gonna make those um eventually and i like these because of the jackets so yeah, I got these at the thrift store for 99 cents each and I'm pretty happy with them. Sometimes you get really good um, patterns in the thrift store. So I'm always on the lookout for um, for, a few, for additional ones. Yeah, so all in all, I'm very happy with everything that I found. And I definitely would recommend that instead of buying new notions and new patterns all the time, you could actually search one of the um many websites that persons use to trade and to buy and sell 
um, used items because there are some amazing deals there. I'm pretty happy with everything that I got recently on Facebook Marketplace and I'm pretty happy with the things that I've gotten on Kijiji thus far so I definitely recommend them. Alright, well thanks for stopping by and see you in my next video. Bye!